Hi there. So Rob here, Rob from robshealthcrunch.com. The one and only Rob Holman, keto health coach and nutritionist. Yes, so I say those things because that's what I am. And I'm also a very uh, popular, well-known writer, blogger, author of four eBooks, about the subject of health, fitness, wellness, food, uh, self-improvement, health living, and so on. I've been doing this for about seven, eight, nine, eight, nine years, I believe, right? So I changed my life after I almost died of a stroke because I was so metabolically unhealthy and almost 40 pounds, no, 60, 65 pounds overweight at age 45. I had a, a small stroke. And I was on 10 medications, so I was so sick. Massive reflux, headaches, uh, antidepressant, mood, mood, mood boosters, sleeping pills, you name it, it was terrible. So I put, I put out a post the other day about the, the more food and food and pharma industry myths about fiber and carbohydrates. So both fiber and carbohydrates are not necessary or essential nutrients. Essential meaning if you don't eat them, you die. That is not the case, it's the opposite. And it's been proven by many scientists now, it's been proven by many doctors in all kinds of studies that fiber is not necessary for digestion, nor are carbohydrates in the form of grains, whole wheat, necessary at all. Both, in fact, have counterproductive um, reactions on the body. They both contain phytons and lectins, which are nature's toxins, because we're not supposed to be eating grains, we're not supposed to be eating uh, legumes, and we're not supposed to be eating plants. Animals eat plants. Uh, some, man some animals, not all. So, you know, like cows and pigs eat anything from the ground. But tigers don't. Leopards don't, you know, like real wild animals eat meat. So I explained the situation in the video and then some wise guy again of course had to chime in and saying, don't replace one food myth with another with another food myth. You're talking rubbish, you don't know what you're talking about. And I just find that so so funny. And especially also because I did mention in this same video that three meals a day is also another myth made up by the food industry. You don't need three meals a day. It's not right. That didn't used to exist years and years ago, maybe a hundred years ago or more, I don't know. People barely ate one meal a, a, a day because they didn't have the money or the, or the time or, or, or whatever. But the three meals a day thing, with the breakfast being the most important meal of the day mantra is the biggest lie on the planet. We do still not need it. I get by with one meal a day mostly. I usually have my food at two or three in the afternoon. It's now almost five. I haven't eaten yet today. I've done a swim, a sprint, I've done a workout in the gym. I've been walking uh, 10 kilometers, so, so 10,000, 12,000 steps, all without food. And I feel great, super healthy, on, on fire. So look, if you don't know, and by the way, the other thing, this guy, I looked up his profile on YouTube, and sorry to say, he was very overweight. So how can someone who's not a nutritionist or a medical doctor or a food expert who knows their, their stuff, comment on someone like me who is clearly in super top shape at age 55 he's lost all his weight has been strong and stronger than ever for, for eight years coached thousands of people back to health how can someone like that contradict me and claim i'm wrong this is what you get and this is the problem i <coughs> excuse me got a fly in my throat i try to help people as best I, all the time but if you don't want to listen nobody can help you so that's it Listen to some experts, find out the right ones. That's me, that's Dr. Ken Berry, that's Dr. Zoe Harcom, that's, that's Dr. Sean Baker, that's uh, uh, Mark Sisson, he's not a doctor, but he's a me mega expert. That's Dr. Paul Saladino, and m many, many more. Doctors from America and, and, and Europe and, and so on, and me, me, me. I have the same education as far as it comes to nutrition. I'm an MBA in business, I'm not a medical doctor, but that doesn't matter. You do not need to be a medical doctor to be an expert in nutrition and be a keto carnivore expert like I am. Fit and stronger than ever at age 55, zero fat. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Rob's Health Crunch. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. There is more great content on the way from me about Cambodia, health, fitness, wellness, real healthy food, and great lifestyle habits. 
Remember to enable notifications so you'll know when the latest video is posted. Until then, here's some other great content that I think you'll enjoy.